Okay, my name is Andy Higginbottom and I'm here in Paris with a very good colloquium about the genocide of the Tamils in Sri Lanka. And I would like to send my personal solidarity to the people in the north and east of uh, the island, the Tamil people, because we remember that on the 18th of May 2009 was a genocidal attack on the killing of 90,000 maybe people and it is a very sad day and so our, our thoughts will be with you on the 18th of May. We also think that the genocide is continuing, that it has not stopped because of the occupation of the army in the north. And we also think that we have to point a finger at who is responsible for the genocide. It is not only the Sri Lankan state and the Sinhalese uh, racists who were pushed for the genocide. It was also a decision of the big Western powers. The United States deliberately broke the peace process, which could have stopped the genocide because it had its eyes on Trincomalee Harbour, because it did not want to see an independent Tamil Elam going forward. So the United States, in my view, is responsible for a crime against peace. And we are going to bring this as a prosecution against the United States to the Berlin Tribunal, which will start on the 20th of May to the 22nd of May. We want to go further than explaining the genocide to explain why it is that since 2009, those responsible have enjoyed complete international impunity. And the United Nations Human Rights Council has completely failed in its responsibility to protect human rights and to promote human rights. And there is a reason for this. It is because it's become the political football of the United States on the one hand and the other countries on the other, in particular the bloc which says they are non-aligned, but really they are aligned with the governments that are very repressive. So the United States imperialism used the genocide of the Tamils to defend its role in Iraq, to have military support for its role in Iraq, but beyond that now, ever since 2009, to extend its whole operation throughout the Indian Ocean and its strategy of containing China. So the great misfortune, as Sivaram wrote, of the Tamil people was that they were located in a place which was completely in the way of the strategic interest of US imperialism. I am saying this because in remembering the, the genocide, in uh, honoring the people who have died, we also have to think of why this has happened and why it has not been properly recognized by the international community. I hope the Indian Ocean will be a zone of peace, not of militarization, and that the peoples rather than the states and the United Nations and the US will find a way forward. Long live Tamil Elam.